Hello everyone guys, it's Grayson, and uh, or you can call me Pickle Man, whatever, that's my channel name. But uh, today we are in having an interesting video, I don't normally do videos like these, actually, actually, if you guys check out my channel. How many times did I just say actually? <laughs> Alright, so, um, I have a Hornby 040 train I want you guys to take a look at. I think it's a very nice train that is a very nice quality, and it's actually very cheap actually, so uh, at the end I'll tell you the price. It'll give you like a review rating, like cool, like four, like five, like five, like zero, one to five ratings of the quality and value and performance and stuff. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the Hornby Ofero Smoky Joe. Now this model cost me around. I said I was going to do this at the end of the video, but you guys may be wondering what the price is. So this cost me around fifty dollars. So that yeah, was a very reasonable price on Amazon. It took. Two weeks to arrive since it's shipped from the UK and I'm in the United States. But it's a very nice model. I have it, it's a Hornby train and I have it running on Bachman Easy Track, which I actually really like, to be honest. And it's actually a very nice performer. Now I'm gonna show ahead and show you guys the detail on this. So as you can see, it has fitted metal pieces right here and for the whistle as well, right here. As you can see, it's got a nice Smokey Joe printing on it. It says Smokey Joe, like graffiti, I guess. Give this an old train, old broken down train, is what I would like to imagine. And the number is 56025. And it's actually not that detailed, but on the front it's got some detail on the front there. It's got a nice sturdy funnel, you know, uh, nice fitted metal pieces. All the bumpers on it are nicely fitted and actually I believe they're separately fitted they may be a mold on there but even though it is it would be great it's I'm surprised it would be a mold because how nice they are printed on there if they were a mold so same on the back it's also got some cab detail as you can probably see in there it did come with a driver and an engineer that I haven't set up yet I got this like two months ago I have them in a drawer somewhere um, maybe I can set them up, uh, set them up later, you know. Uh, you can see the gear on the bottom, but that's fine. It doesn't really cause anything. Um, it's a very nice performer. This is an HO scale, or OO scale is what Hornby does. So it's a little bigger than the back men HO scale, which I'm used to. But, like, track-wise, it fits perfectly. You know, it still works on there on the HO track. It's just you know, tad bit, like a couple centimeters bigger on the body, but it's a great performer, and it's got nice splashers on it, and, oh, not, that's not a splasher, that's, what's the word for it? I believe it's the, oh, I don't remember, but it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the performance on this. It is a very nice performer, so... So I'm going to show you go ahead and do a crawl, so I'm going to put it on a crawl there. As you can see, it's a very nice crawler. It does a very nice crawl. As you can see, it's just creeping along the track. It's not a very fast model, actually. I'll show you here in a second why, so I'm going to go ahead and go back here. It's a very quiet model, and it has proper bearings, so it's not really that loud, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put it at full speed here, in 3, 2, 1. So it's not a particularly fast model, but as you can see, it's a very nice performer and pretty good actually for the price for $50 which I was I, I was expecting something cheap but it is very heavy for the size of it it's actually heavy like it could pull something pretty big it's actually almost as size heavy as my Buckman Spencer model which that has a really heavy tender which slows it down and, but it's a very nice puller as well this is an amazing polar, which I'm about to show you. So, I do have some cars to put in here to show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it back up into it, if this works. 
Oh, wrong way. Okay, now let's backed up in here. I'm gonna add one more car here. I'm using some Thomas and Friends uh, cars because I have a lot of Thomas and Friends models. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a Beyblade in the troublesome trucks. This is a very heavy Beyblade, so. Just put it like that, and I may as well put a little hot wheel in here just to make it a little bit heavier. So now it's a very heavy train. It's fairly long, but you saw the speed. I'm about to surprise you because it's a very good pull there. This is like not even half speed right here. All right, so now I'm gonna go full speed. And you can probably tell it's about the same. So it's a very nice puller. And I think that's just because it's so heavy. But as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and have it go in at a crawl. And I don't see any wheel slip. And it's actually crawling really good with all the weight on here. Not going backwards. It's a little hard to push. But surprisingly, it pulls really good at a crawl, which I have to say is an amazing quality. So now I'm going to go ahead and give my ratings for this. So detail, I'm going to have to do a, it's not much detail, but for the price, I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 5 for detail. Because, I mean, it has cab detail in here, but it's not painted, so, and honestly, it's not a lot of detail. It's kind of plain, but... 4 to 5 because it has separated fitted pieces, which I think is very nice. Performance, I have to give it a 5 out of 5. It is amazing performance for the price. Value, 5 out of 5. $50 and you get this, it's 5 out of 5. Quality, 5 out of 5 because I've had this for 2 months and it hasn't changed one bit. Not even a single scratch on this, actually, as you can tell. So, it is a very nice performer. It's a very nice model to get from Hornby. If you see it on Amazon, uh, you're probably not going to see it in a local store. But if you find it, come across it on Amazon, go ahead and pick it up. It is an amazing model. It, it may, depending on where you live, I live in the United States, and this is shipped from the UK, so it took me like two weeks to get it. But UK could probably take a couple days, so depending on where you live, go ahead and pick it up. doesn't matter. It should be able to ship anywhere, I believe, except Canada. I don't know about Canada. A lot of things don't ship to Canada. But, anyways, it is a very nice polar. I'm just gonna have it little go across. So, the, I don't have much. These are all the cars I have. So, oh, it got stuck. There we go. I don't know what just happened there. That never happened. It must be my track. But anyway, guys, it is a very good model. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this little review. And I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys on the next one. So, uh, overall, though, I'm going to give it a 4.9 out of 5. Because <laughs> that one, it's just the detail. The detail is a 4 out of 5. So, and everything else is a 5 out of 5. So, 4, mm, you know what, 4.5. Actually, would be a reasonable rating for this. But uh, on Amazon, I've seen this has... It, everyone has a 5-star rating on this. No 1-star, no 2-star, no 3-star, no 4-star. All 5-star ratings on this, on Amazon. So, it's a very nice quality. I was surprised that all the reviews were real, because when I got this, I was amazed how it... Well, it does on the price for $50. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.